So a big challenge with phrases like that is getting smooth bow changes, especially at the frog. So I'm going to teach you a little exercise which is very useful and can be used with students who are at the beginning of uh, learning to play the violin as well. And I want to point out that for a lot of bow strokes, the fingers in our hand act as little motors and generate motion, like in cole and certain other things. But for these legato bow changes, we want to think more of the upper arm as being the motor. And I'll give you an analogy. If you think of grass in a river, the grass is reacting to the flow of the river. And we want to think of our flexible fingers reacting to the motion, but not generating it so we don't get a big bump at the bow changes. So this is called the finger responsibility exercise. We divide the bow in thirds. So we start at the frog and we lift up the index and we feel the weight being taken by that pinky. And it's also controlling the direction a little bit. Then for the middle part of the bow, all the fingers are on the bow. It's like a neutral position. And as we get towards the tip, we lean into that index. It's the weak part of the bow. We put our weight in this way and we let the pinky come up. And after we're comfortable with that, then we try it legato without the stops. isolate just the bow changes at the frog. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any comments. Thanks.